Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Someone got the little woodchuck upset again, and that is Mr. Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, my uh, woodchuck. So uh, he got upset, or he's got a little uh, problems, uh, and for good reasons. And he launched a, a long-range missile uh, over Japan, it seems like, uh, capable of hitting, uh, guess what, the territory of the United States of America. No concerns, okay, no concerns. Take it easy, shoot those balloons down in the meantime. So let's see what's going on here. This article comes from Reuters via Yahoo News. North Korea fires long-range missile into sea. Jesus Christ, look at this. Uh, let's move on. Uh, February 18th, 2023. Story. North Korea launched a long-range ballistic missile into the sea off Japan's west coast on Saturday. So not over Japan, but off the west coast of Japan after warning of a strong response to upcoming military drills of South Korea and the United States. Japanese authorities said the missile plunged into waters inside Japan's exclusive economic zone more than an hour after it was launched, suggesting the weapon was one of Pyongyang's largest missiles. Oh la la. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, who has an approval rate, just so you know, approval rating of about 32%, said, just so you know, so he has, has the support of uh, the Japanese people, 32%, so he should go and <laughs> screw himself, said the missile appeared to have been ICBM class, referring to an intercontinental ballistic missile. Good job, good job. How are those uh, drills, uh, I'm coming drills, military drills come, my friends? Very good, very good. He told a briefing, in a, he told a briefing, Japan strongly condemned the launch. Where? You're gonna buy some uh, American uh, missiles, I heard. Can't remember now the name, but you are about to buy them some long range missiles. So shut your pie hole, okay? Calling it a threat to the international community. No, just a threat to you and your masters. Uh, yeah, the ones that are right there doing some uh, military drills far away from their territory, just so you know. Because why? Otherwise, what? Anyway, don't include everybody in your BS. Don't include the international community in your BS. No, it's uh, just you and other countries who decide to be on the side of the good. Japan said the missile, the missile appeared to have a range of more than 8,700 miles. Not good news. Or 14,000 kilometers. Sufficient to reach the US mainland. Oh, well, it's okay. It's California. <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> North Korea's missile firing came after Pyongyang threatened only Friday a, quote, president's strong response as South Korea and the United States gear up for annual anal military exercises, part of efforts to fend off the, North, the North's growing nuclear and missile threats. <laughs> and how do you do that? How, how do you fend it? By doing those stupid drills? U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, below 86 IQ guy right here, standing alongside his South Korean and Japanese counterparts on Saturday in Germany, called the launch a, quote, provocative act. <laughs> Who cares? Go home and uh, mind your own business. And, but anyway, somehow everybody's guilty of something. And, but if you look uh, at a common denominator, it's almost always the United States of America, where you have a little, uh, you know, on this planet, if you just look a little bit, you find the United States somewhere. How is that possible? The only, the only uh, reason for that, we are told, is because they are the forces of good. And since they are forces of good, they are called by these victims all the time, help us, help us. And then uh, this guy puts his cap, cape on, whoosh, flies over and comes and helps everybody. I need a few million dollars. Anybody? Anybody? Huh? We want to help me pay a few things left and right. No? <laughs> Why not? 
Well, let's say, I'm Ukrainian, hello. And no, what if I think another method? I'm a victim somehow, I'm a uh, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, no? <laughs> Christ, I, I think it shows. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my God, this is the world we live in. So anyway, it's unbelievable how you bring your stuff to some other country's shores. Those guys are showing you that they can hit you and you play victim. I, I, I don't know, it, it's just... Uh, and if, remember, if Pyongyang, if the woodchuck would not have nuclear weapons, I almost guarantee you, that's my assessment, that those guys will be attacked or uh, some little regime change or something would occur over there. But they don't do anything to these guys because they have the, these weapons. Otherwise, the great uh, force of good would have helped uh, <clears throat> democracy and freedom, would have, would, 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 would have spread freedom and democracy in North Korea as well as they did in Iraq and, uh, you know, in uh, Libya and in Afghanistan. Yeah, they destroyed all those, they ruined those uh, societies. Yeah. Where are they right now? Moved on. Where? Ukraine. It's like, uh, you know, those parasites who uh, go into an organism, they attack it, they eat it, and when it's done, <whistles> jump on another healthy one done on another one the problem is this the parasite is a big one so it's not a small one but almost always fights in groups it doesn't really like to go one-on-one -on -one. it likes to uh, show um, legitimacy and how does it show uh, leg uh, legitimacy by numbers hey we're 10 here we can bombard Yugoslavia even Belgium was part of that if I remember correctly Netherlands Canada oh Canada the ones that are good and polite. Hey, they were in that one, in Yugoslavia. Germany, Deutschland, Deutschland, über, uh, <clears throat> über alles in der Welt. Remember that one? Yeah, Haydn. There was Haydn. The words were not Haydn's, but if you look at uh, the, the uh, classic uh, piece of work, it was Haydn. So, Deutschland, Deutschland, über, über in der Welt, or dem Welt. So anyway, those <laughs> that was bad, but look what they're doing right now. They're at the <whistles> Germany. Come over here. Okay, yeah, good boy. Let me give you some sugar. Yeah, there you go. Come with us. We have to attack these guys, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. That's Germany right there. Which one you like better? <laughs> I guess this one. <laughs> so anyway, this is Germany. Friends the same, huff and puffs, but when the Ukrainians call them out, like, oh, s sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's, it's just a, a comedy. And then these guys are attacking all, all the countries in groups, uh, the coalitions, and then they say they are the, the world community. I have never seen a co coalition of world communities, of, of world community. I see only the same guys straightening things out every, wherever they are, and, and they fight with whom? Yugoslavia? which was Serbia and Montenegro, how, how many millions were over there? 10, 12, 7, 6, around that, I can't remember. remember. How big is the, the population of Montenegro and Yugoslavia then? And then they did what? They attacked uh, Saddam Hussein, 20 million, <laughs> with the coalition, mother of the whole coalition, unbelievable, with the Great Britain as well. Uh, and who else? And then you go to Syria, what was that? The ISIS, other people did the heavy lifting over there. Libya with um, Gaddafi, 4 million people. Afghanistan, 3 goats and 5 uh, Bedouins over there. Again, <sighs> yeah, baby doll. Is that what it is? And it's always an, a, in groups. And if you add the total uh, power of these countries involved compared with each and each, and, uh, each other that they, they attacked, it's like unbelievable. You fight like I uh, have my Tyson fighting a toddler after he kicks the toddler's ass. <sighs> yeah, Schwarzkopf comes and tells us how great he is. We won against Iraq. Shut the embarrassing. It's like you have Alexander the Great coming in front of his troop and say, "Yeah, we fought. Uh, I don't know the Tutsis or something." It's Jesus Christ. Always, always outnumbers, uh, outnumbered. And what did he do? Bad or good? What did he do? But we, we, we forgot our values, our European, our, our civilization. We forgot it. 
we turn into weasels. Schwarzkopf has a medal of this that he won in Iraq war. Really? And you fought what? Who did you fight? I mean, it's embarrassing. It's like, you're, uh, as I said, Mike Tyson goes and fights a toddler and then he's putting a medal and tells everybody how strong he is. It used to be run out of town, such a, 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 a situation. But now, no, you have them right there. Oh, the Schwarzkopf, the General Schwarzkopf, who was, what, 3,000 miles away from the hostilities? You remember when Napoleon was? Napoleon Bonaparte, let's use him. I don't want to use Alexander the Great, who was the first one with a fucking horse and with uh, everything. What was his name? Uh, uh, the horse. Palacios, pa Palacios, whatever he was, I can't remember. Anyway, so he was in with everybody over there. But those times are gone. Remember Leonidas, you know, the 300, the Spartans. The king was with everybody in the front fucking row. These guys are... Make sure you, yeah, uh, okay. And then, yeah, we, uh, remember what the Spartans did with the, uh, the 300s? How stupid that was? You want to consider it stupid. Against the Persians, a thermopile, thermopile, thermo whatever. You remember that one? They, they knew. And these guys are, oh my God, we fought uh, Iraq. We fought uh, Yugoslavia and Libya and uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, I'm a war veteran. Yes, you are. All right. Well, this is it, my friends, with uh, this is it with this uh, missile where you have the little woodchuck cornered in a certain way, sanctions on his country, but nobody would dare to attack him. Why? Because he's got that particular weapon. So uh, no wonder that other countries try to acquire that when they see that you have you sanction me, but with that thing, I am not afraid that you will ever attack me. Uh, sometimes I play and I look like, uh, you know, our fireworks when I send a few missiles and I see everybody, we warn you, we, we don't give a shit. Why? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Shut the hell up. So you already imposed sanctions on us. So uh, they learn. They learn. And the woodchuck, as bad as he is, as bad as society is over there, but they know that without that, these guys will impose their freedom and democracy and their way of life, which seem to be uh, considered, in this guy's eyes, better. But they talk about the, uh, uh, diversity here in the United States of America. Uh, diverse, we love diversity. Well, why don't you like the, that country to be that country? Why did you bring freedom and justice and democracy over there? Maybe they don't want that. There are some who want it, some they don't. That's not your business to say how they should be uh, uh, running their country or their family. You have your own rules in your family, they have their own rules in their family. You don't go there and tell them, hey, I think uh, that was not right over there, why don't you change it? Otherwise, I bang you. Hmm? Yeah, but we have uh, United Nations and international law and... Uh, -da 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 we have shit. These guys don't uh, run by that. So anyway, just uh, the woodchuck does what he does best. You know, keeps these guys, uh, you know, busy talking. And they're going to have drills again. Where? By his coast. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.